In the world of model railways, a baseboard, also known as benchwork or layout board, is the foundational structure that supports your entire layout. Rail Modeler Pro utilizes baseboards to define the outline and shape of your model railway layout. One benefit is that baseboards, unlike tracks or graphical shapes, are always visible in the background without interfering with your planning or covering the grid. While the baseboard layer is not selected, clicks on baseboard elements are ignored. This ensures the baseboard remains in the background and prevents accidental selection or movement while editing tracks and other layout content. To add a new baseboard, access the file menu and click Add Baseboard. This will launch the Baseboard Assistant, offering templates for typical layout shapes including rectangles and L shapes. Select a shape from the list of templates, then adjust the dimensions to match your specifications. You also have the option to rotate or flip the template to better fit your layout. After making the adjustments, click Next to move on to selecting a color. Finally, click Insert to add the baseboard to your layout. All baseboards reside in a dedicated baseboards layer that always appears beneath any track layers. This layer can only hold baseboards. If you try to add tracks or other elements, the action will be rejected with a corresponding message. To modify a baseboard, begin by selecting the baseboard layer. This will activate the baseboard tools in the toolbar. Three tools are available. Select and Edit Tool. Use this to move and adjust baseboards and to edit corner points. Delete Tool. Simply click to remove baseboards. Border Tool. Edit border segments, adjusting dimensions and types as needed. When you select a baseboard with a single click using the Select and Edit tool, you can set its position and color directly in the sidebar's inspector, similar to other elements in the track plan. Right-click on a baseboard for additional options like duplicating a baseboard or changing its order within the layer. To edit corner points, double-click the baseboard. In editing mode, each point has a handle. You can drag a point to move it. Click on a border segment or anywhere outside the baseboard to add a new corner point at that position. Click on a point while holding the Option key to delete a corner point. To exit point editing mode, press the Escape key or select another tool in the toolbar. The border tool allows you to select and edit border segments of baseboards. When active, clicking a border segment selects it. Dragging a circular border segment changes its radius. Option clicking toggles dimension display mode. In the sidebar, you can edit parameters of the selected border segment, such as its type and specific dimensions like length or radius. Once you've completed setting up your baseboards, switch to any tracks layer to start designing your track plan.